A possible road rage incident turned deadly. The crash from Easter weekend killed a 21 year old girl along 95 in Baltimore. And tonight, police need your help piecing together what happened. WJZ is live, and Amy Kawada spoke with the victim's family and has the new information just released today. Amy. Rick, the family of 21 year old Haley Heron held a vigil over the weekend, one week after the crash that killed her. And as police search for witnesses, the family is hoping to find some closure. How, really? How? What happened? Unanswered questions are haunting the Heron family. No one knows exactly what happened between them. As police try to piece together what led up to the crash that killed 21 year old Haley. She just had such a good, like, soul and personality, and it was just. This is a tragedy, honestly. You're trying to grieve, but you also don't know what happened to her, so it's, it's really hard. It happened early Saturday morning over the Easter weekend. MDTA police say Haley was involved in a car accident on 95 North near exit 52 for Russell Street. Investigators say three cars were involved in the crash. Heron's red Honda Civic, a white truck, and a white car. Officials believe a possible road rage incident between Heron's car and the white truck ended in a crash. Something happened between Haley's car and the white truck, and it caused Haley's car to spin out on the highway. Um, and her, you know, so since she was sideways with her, where her car was, the other car T-boned her, like, directly at, like, the driver's door. Heron's family says Haley was transported to the hospital in critical condition and died the next day. Now, they just want answers. Just think about it if it was your family. I mean, we all want to know what happened. We deserve that closure. Just say something, like... Because we, we know the ending part of it, but we want to know what happened in the beginning to cause it. And this is a very well-traveled area. Police are searching for the driver of the white pickup truck that was involved in this possible road rage incident. If anyone might have seen this crash or the cars traveling beforehand, you're urged to contact Maryland Transportation Authority Police. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore City, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.